Hey everybody, it's Ruby, and today I have a music-related video for you guys, which I'm really, really, really pumped about. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my entire vinyl record collection. For those who don't know, I have had a record player for probably, like, two to three years now, and I love my vinyl records. They're definitely something that I covet. I really love them, and although my collection might not be super large or anything, it's definitely, like, substantial enough that I can make a video about it. My vinyl collection is definitely kind of all over the place. I have recent artists, I have kind of older artists, I have tons of different genres. Um, so without further ado, let's just get into the video. Also for those who are kind of noticing, not that it's anything like super noticeable, but I did get my hair re-dyed and just a small trim, you can't see it at all, it was literally like a quarter of an inch. Um, but I did get my hair re-dyed, so if it looks darker and a little bit like shinier, it's just because it's fresh and it's freshly dyed, so yay. I'm gonna be pulling these vinyls in no particular order. I will warn you that there are a ton of Billy Joel vinyls in this video. He is my absolute favorite artist of all time, so my collection is pretty much heavily based around Billy Joel, but um, you know, that's just me. Okay, so starting off from the top of my pile, funny enough, this is Billy Joel's Songs in the Attic. I absolutely love this album. I am trying to get every single Billy Joel album um, that was ever produced on vinyl. I think I'm missing like four. I'm really, really, really close, but I absolutely love this album and it's one of my favorites to listen to. Up next, I see something that my mom actually got me. This is The Pretenders Learning to Crawl. Up next is Billy Joel's Piano Man. Um, this was the album that I knew was gonna be the hardest to find because everybody covets this and they don't wanna give it up to like resell or anything. But I found this in a really random vinyl store in Atlanta and I'm not even kidding you, I think I cried when I found this because I had been searching for it for like over a year and so I was so glad that I finally found a copy that I could call my own. Up next, I have the Oklahoma original Broadway cast recording. If you guys don't know, I'm a musical theater geek. I want to pursue musical theater for a career, so I love having some like original Broadway cast recordings on vinyl because they're just so much fun to listen to. And I have quite a few Broadway um, vinyls in my collection. They're a little harder to find, so sometimes I don't have a ton of luck finding any, but recently I found this and I was so happy. I love Oklahoma. It's such a great show, so... This is really, this warms my heart. Up next, an album that I definitely covet a lot. This is a Queen album. If you guys don't know, Queen is one of my favorite bands. And if you don't already listen to their music, you are missing out on so much. We have another Broadway vinyl, but this one especially I love. This is A Chorus Line. A Chorus Line is one of my favorite shows. I absolutely love this show. There are some stunning, stunning songs on this album, and so I listen to it all the time, especially like when I'm getting ready for like an event or something. I find that I always, like this is the vinyl that I gravitate towards, and this is the vinyl that I'll put on my record player to play as I'm getting ready. I don't really know why. I just love it. I feel like you can't have a record player or a vinyl collection without having at least one Christmas album, and so this is the Bing Crosby's Christmas Classics album. There's just something about putting on a Christmas vinyl during the holiday season that just totally gets you in the mood and I absolutely love this thing. My grandma actually gave it to me. Up next we have Billy Joel's Street Life Serenade. I love this album. There are such pretty songs on it and plus like the cover just makes me very very happy. Next album I actually found at a garage sale I believe and I was really excited about it because it's like brand spanking new. This is Pete Yorn and Scarlett Johansson, their album Break Up. This is like a great kind of like indie Americana album if you're kind of into that weird, not even weird, just you're into kind of a different kind of off the beaten path music taste. Uh, this is definitely an album that you should check out. One of my favorite Billy Joel albums, this is The Bridge. I absolutely love this album. If you do not know it, please, please, please do yourself a favor and check it out. Love this album so much. There are so many great songs on it. I just Oh my gosh, I love this album. This next album is special to me for many, many, many reasons. One of which being, it is a Broadway show vinyl. Um, number two, it's one of my favorite Broadway shows. And number three, my dad actually gave it to me. This is the original cast album of Pippin. Pippin is one of my favorite Broadway shows. My dad actually turned me on to it, and it's just kind of a nice little bond that we share. Um, and so I was so happy when he gave this to me. He's had this since he was really young. So I don't know, it just means a lot to me. It's a very like precious item in my collection, if that makes any sense. And I listen to it all the time. I just love the meaning of the show, and I love all of the songs. So yay, Pippin! <laughs> 
Up next, this is definitely a modern artist. This is Lana Del Rey's Born to Die album. I feel like everybody um, who is like close to my age and has a vinyl player has this record. It's so good. I love Lana Del Rey. This is such a cool album. I just can't say more like good things about it. It's just awesome. Again, one of my like top favorite Billy Joel albums. This is Glass Houses. Um, I love this album. Great songs on it. Um, if you don't want to listen to the whole thing, I will really, really, really recommend that you listen to All For Lena and Sleeping With The Television On. They are such good songs and I love them. Again, something really more recent. This is Casey Musgraves, same trailer, different park. One of his earlier albums, this is Billy Joel's Cold Spring Harbor. Again, I thought that this was gonna be a really hard one to find because it was one of his earliest albums so nobody wants to give it up and like take it away from their collection. I love this album because it's definitely one of those imperfect ones. It's not the most impeccably produced but it's still amazing in so many ways. Up next we have another Queen album. This is Sheer Heart Attack. I love this album. This is the one that Killer Queen is on. That's one of my favorite songs, especially when I was little. Me and my sister would go around singing it all the time. Um, it's just a great album and I love being able to play it. Up next we have not only my favorite Billy Joel album of all time, but it's actually my favorite album of all time. And on this album is my favorite song of all time. This is Billy Joel's The Stranger. I cannot stress how much this album means to me, which is so weird, but unless you're a, like a die-hard music lover like myself, you really won't understand what that means. Um, this album is so amazing in so many ways. In my opinion, this is one of like the definitions of perfection. And for those who are wondering, my favorite song in the entire world, which also happens to be on this album, is Vienna by Billy Joel. It's like the first song on the second side, I believe. Yeah, okay, that shows how much I've listened to this album because I know the order of like every single song. <laughs> Up next we have Billy Joel's An Innocent Man. Love this album again. Literally, I just have so many Billy Joel vinyls. I just, I can't help it. I really, I really can't. This is also an album that my mom got me. This is Bette Midler's Songs for the New Depression. Um, I really like this album. It's just something fun to have and who doesn't love Bette Midler? Here we have Billy Joel's 52nd Street. Love this album. Love the cover love all the songs. I just love everything about it. This is an album that I listen to a lot. This is Little Big Town's Tornado album. Really, really, really love Little Big Town. If you guys don't know, I love country music. That's something that not a lot of people know about me. Um, I'm a huge country music lover and I love Little Big Town and I love this album and I love every single song on it. So it's really fun to listen to, especially in the summertime. This is one of my go-to vinyls. Something I know a lot of people wouldn't pin me as is a Modest Mouse lover. Um, not because of anything in particular, but just like I know that when I first tell people that I really love Modest Mouse, they're like, wow, that's so interesting, and I never know why. But um, this is Modest Mouse, uh, their album, Good News for People Who Love Bad News. Um, absolutely love this album. I have listened to this so much. It's such a great album. It was a great find. I was so happy I found this. I think this was one of the first vinyls that I purchased when I uh, first got my record player just because I love this album and I knew I wanted to have it on vinyl because it just sounds so good. Up next we have Ricky Lee Jones, her album. I don't know if this album has a specific name, but I've had this for like a year and a half and so um, I'm really sorry I, that I don't know the actual name of the album, but I love this album. I listen to it all the time. Again, it's something that my mom turned me on to and I just think it's a really cool album. It's a very distinct sound, so you're either going to love it or you're not going to love it, but I would definitely recommend checking it out. This again is just something fun that my mom got me. This is Super Tramp, the logical song. Um, I'm not going to talk much about this, but it's awesome and I just really like having this in my collection. It's just something fun. This is something that I got just because I thought it was really cool to have. I actually just bought this recently. This is Cher's Greatest Hits album. I just really like collecting cool little like Greatest Hits albums and stuff. And also I got this for my mom because she really likes Cher, but she doesn't have a vinyl player. So I was like, you can borrow my record player whenever you want to listen to this, but I'll just keep it in my collection for now. So yeah, I have this. I don't really know how to introduce this next um, vinyl, but I'm just gonna kind of show it. Uh, this is Jimmy Fallon's Blow Your Pants Off. Um, yes, my mother got this for me because I absolutely love Jimmy Fallon. Um, I just love him so much. The day that I'm on his show, if I ever get to be on his show one day, 
I would literally just cry and laugh and hug him because I just think he's hilarious. So my mom got this for me knowing that I would highly appreciate it and I really do. Up next, this is Elton John's Caribou album. I really love this album. I love Elton John. I really want more of his albums in my collection, but his in particular are really hard to find, especially just where I live. I don't really know why, um, but I love this album and I think it's great and I've listened to it a ton. And to wrap up this entire video, we have Billy Joel's The Nylon Curtain. I love this album because it has the song Pressure on it, which I love, and the song Allentown, which is again just a great one. Really like this album. Here's the back. Um, I just I listen to this all the time, and I think I've almost like worn out some of the songs, truthfully, because I've listened to it so much. Okay, everybody, and that completes my vinyl record collection. I really hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and also in the comment section down below, let me know if you guys have a vinyl player, if you guys have a vinyl record collection. Let me know what some of your favorite albums are to listen to on vinyl. Please subscribe, help me get to a thousand. It would mean the world to me. Follow me on all my social media networks. Links are always in the down bar below. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Okay, bye guys.